This is uh, Pastor Tim coming to you from Central Texas from the United Methodist Churches of Bend and Lomita, uh, where we uh, are small in size but big in heart. We try to carry on the ministry of Jesus Christ in our place and our time. You have to bloom where you're planted. And so we uh, come uh, bringing stories about the Bible. We uh, have been talking about the great themes of the Bible, uh, looked that up, or uh, some of the things that describing the parts of the Bible uh, so that somebody will have landmarks by which to navigate as they uh, maybe start a journey of reading and understanding the Bible. Uh, we're going to interrupt that uh, with this uh, being Holy Week. Uh, we're talking about the various uh, events of, uh, of time between uh, Palm Sunday and Easter Sunday. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, uh, Good Friday. Good, it's, a, it's called Good Friday only because uh, it was good for the world. Uh, it's the time in which Jesus died. Um, and that was not good news at the time. But it, on Easter Sunday morning, it became good news uh, because he rose from the dead. He uh, showed that it proved that he was uh, the Son of God, the Savior that we expected. Uh, and could be the source of, uh, of, the, of uh, wisdom, the source of how to live. Uh, and it shows us who God is and how God uh, operates, how God thinks. Um, it enables us to once more have a relationship uh, with God. Other religions uh, have a way of connecting us to God, but uh, uh, the Christian faith, we believe, is through Jesus Christ. And so uh, it was good because the, uh, the, in the crucifixion, Jesus uh, made a connection, made a, a demonstration of God's love uh, that we didn't have otherwise, of a, of a servant willing to go even to death for the sake of others. Uh, it was a natural consequence of uh, the Roman authorities and the Jewish authorities uh, resisting uh, his ministry, his life, his teaching. You see, the person that's most dangerous is the one who can't be controlled. Uh, Jesus was perfectly free to do exactly what he was going to do, uh, to be obedient to God, uh, to be uh, at the, doing the purposes of God. And so he couldn't be controlled either by the religious authorities or by the Roman authorities. Uh, and those kind of uh, are threats to uh, their power. It's threats to the, the peace that they're trying to uh, establish, the peace that is not uh, uh, a fullness and, and completeness of God, but a uh, repression of people's uh, conflict and people resisting uh, their authority. And so uh, they, on Thursday night, the uh, Judas uh, betrayed Jesus and the soldiers took him. Uh, they held him overnight in the prison after and beat, beat him um, and took him before Pontius Pilate, uh, who was the uh, puppet king uh, who uh, tried him, tried Jesus and couldn't find anything wrong with him. But the, the, the people, he incited the people, the religious authorities incited the people into wanting to crucify him. Uh, as a threat to humanity. They had to bring political charges because religious charges wouldn't uh, stand up in the Roman world. So they, they uh, accused him of treason. They accused him of trying to overthrow the Roman government, uh, being a traitor. And that's why he was crucified. Uh, he was uh, he's carried the crossbar uh, that would become part of the cross uh, and up the hill to Galgotha. Uh, there he was uh, crucified. Uh, several things he said during on the cross, the seven last words as they're called. Uh, you can look at those, look those up and find them uh, and find out what he said on the cross. Uh, but primarily he, uh, he died uh, for the sake of all humanity. He accepted that willingly as part of his mission to, from God. Uh, it's something that he uh, had to be the result had to be the result of his ministry and so he died to show to demonstrate the love of God the power over sin and death uh, to liberate set free all humanity 
And so in that moment, uh, something significantly transpired in the world that changed the world forever. Uh, it describes that the, the curtain for the temple was split open. Uh, the temple had a, a curtain around it uh, where the Holy of Holies was inside where God resided. Uh, so in a sense, it, it uh, split open the, the curtain uh, so that, that people could see the holy, but even more so, so that the holy could get loose in the world uh, and do the amazing things, the, that the kingdom of God would appear in little ways here and there, and, and people would know that God is God and that, that Christ was, a, was the Son of God. So on that day, uh, he died uh, at noon. Uh, and the, describes the, the clouds as being as coming over and, and being dark. Uh, at least it was a dark day for the uh, for humanity. Uh, when the Son of God came into the world, when the love came into the world, uh, and they couldn't stand it, so they had to do away with him. So that's what we're doing on Good Friday. It's not a pleasant day, but uh, as the old preacher said, uh, Friday's here. We struggle. We fight. We uh, suffer. But Sunday's coming. So resurrection is going to come on Easter Sunday morning. So look forward to that. See you next time.